This is the first week of Advent, the season of anticipation and expectation leading up to the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ as the Messiah. Advent is celebrated with a different theme every week, and the theme for this week is hope. Hope is a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. We might say, I hope I get a raise. I hope my test results come back negative. I hope my sports team wins the championship. For centuries, the people of Israel had a hope that God would send a savior to rescue them from their enemies. They had expectation and a deep desire for their Messiah to arrive to save them. Hope also has a secondary definition, which is a feeling of trust. And for the Israelites, beyond their desire that God would send his chosen one to save them, they also had the hope that looks like trust. Because over and over and over again, God had promised that he would do this for them. And they believed God's words. Indeed, God did fulfill his promises in a much greater way than the nation of Israel could have ever imagined. Instead of just sending a person who could deliver them from the oppression of the Romans that ruled over them at that time, God sent his very own son to save them and us and all people for all of history from the attack of our true enemy, Satan, and from the curse of sin and death. It's amazing. God took the little that they had hoped for and fulfilled their deepest heart's cry so that now all of us who have put our faith in Jesus as our Savior have an eternal hope, not just an expectation that's shaped by our own desire, but a trust and a deep confidence in the God who sent his only Son to earth to rescue us. This is the hope that fills our hearts as we enter the Christmas season. It is a hope and a trust in the love, goodness, and faithfulness of our God as seen in the gift of Jesus. I pray that in this season, God will renew and strengthen your hope. Hebrews 6 verse 19 says, We have this hope as an anchor for the soul firm and secure. We need such a hope in these turbulent days, and I assure you that hope in Jesus will anchor you even in the midst of life's storms. And so I pray for you, first from Ephesians 1 verses 18 to 19, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his incomparably great power for us who believe. And from Romans 5 verse 13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And then, my friends, as you overflow with such hope, I encourage you from 1 Peter 3.15 to always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. The world needs hope now more than ever. And those of us who understand the true meaning of Christmas and who know the hope of Christ are just the ones to share it. May you be strengthened and renewed in the hope of the Lord. God bless you.